go too much i wanted you to go in and then we'll dive back because and forth there's so many things that can be said about this weekend i think one thing that we learned is that the needle mover is caitlin clark oh 100 she is the needle mover and i don't want to hear any more the, the hate for that girl is unreal i, I I'm, I'm flabbergasted by why these older players keep hating on her you I don't like LeBron James, but I can never deny how unreal that man is as a basketball player. You don't have to like or care for Caitlin Clark for whatever reason it is. But I venture to guess that the large part of the reason is because she's white. And she's not just white, she's Lily White. So I don't think people view Kelsey Plum as a white girl. They view her as a Cali girl and they think she's mixed. Um, folks, seem to, folks seem to think that, you know, it is just very odd at how much anger people like Diana Tarazi, who also took a shot at Angel Reese, by the way, which was kind of funny. But again, it just shows hate. There's no, it, there's no logic to it. Brianna Stewart commenting about Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark drew 18.7 million viewers on Sunday afternoon. Think about that for a second. She drew 14.2 million versus UConn. If they had lost that game to UConn, Sunday's game draws 8 million people. Yeah. Period. Because on Saturday, South Carolina drew 7.1 million in the game before NC State. And I would say that they got 7.1 million because people were waiting to see the next game. Um, because if they didn't have that next game with Iowa, they probably would have about four million, maybe five. South Carolina has a very good team. I don't think they're a great team. I don't think that there are any great women's basketball teams in college. I think you have some, but you have what you have with South Carolina. And people ignore this. They have 10 McDonald's All-Americans. They're supposed to win. They should have won that game by 30. They're better. Period. There is not a female player at Iowa besides Clark who would start at South Carolina right now. There is not a female player. I mean, obviously, there are people. there's not a player at Iowa that would start at UConn right now besides Clark. Every single girl at, I, at UConn and South Carolina would start at Iowa right now with Caitlin Clark. And with South Carolina, it might be everyone from 1 through 10 who would start at South Ca- at Iowa with Caitlin Clark. Thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.